In this lesson, we will learn how to perform operations on text data in Pandas. If you have text data in your series or data frame, you can easily perform operations on it. For example, if you want to convert the entire text data to lowercase, use the lower method. If you want to convert the entire text data to uppercase, use the upper method. If you want the same data in camel case, use the title method. You can also get the length of each and every element using the len method. Also count the non-empty cells using count and if you want to search for any value in a column, use the contain method. Okay, so in this lesson, we will see these six examples and uh, we will cover the following six uh, built-in functions of uh, Python pandas. This will allow us to perform operations on our text data that is string. Let's start. In the first example, we will focus on the lower method that will allow you to convert your text data to lowercase. Let's see the first example. Here we have our PyCharm ID. We are using the free and open source PyCharm Community Edition. So, create your new project. Go to File, New Project. Add the name of your project. You can add any name. I'll type, let's say, Panda String Operations. And the location of the project is the following. The project will get saved here. Click create. Here is our project. Okay, now we need Python files for our uh, six examples. I'll create the first file, right click new Python file. Enter the name of the file. Here I have mentioned demo1. You can mention any name. It will automatically add the .py extension because the Python file is by default selected. Now just press enter and you can see demo1.py is visible and the path is also visible. Similarly create 5 more files because we have total 6 examples of 6 built in functions in pandas. Right click new Python file. Demo 6. That's it. Now we will focus on our first file and we will use the lower method. Let me add the comments also. Now let us start with the first example. At first I'll import pandas, pandas library and I'll also create an alias pd so that we don't need to write pandas again and again. To create an alias I have used as keyword. So let us create the data. We will store this data in the panda series. So I will create a new object data let's say. Here we are adding mixed text that is mixed case text. Here we have five names in different cases. Now create a series. Okay, let me add the object. Let's say it's S. Let's say it's series. Panda that is PD dot series. Okay. And I'll place this data in it. That's it. We have created a series. 
now display to display the series just display this object now we will convert text data to lower case for that i told you just mention series dot str dot lower that's it you can also mention a message file save all right click run demo one here we have our series data in different formats you can see trent uh, martin is having mixed case trent is having upper case and we have converted entire data to lower case So guys we saw the first example to convert all the text data to lower case using the lower method let us see the second example in the next example we will do the opposite that is we will convert the entire text data to upper case using the upper method let us see the example okay we will use the upper method import pandas the pandas library import pandas as pd let us take the text data from here right click copy paste we have entered the data and created a series here let me do some changes Uh, let me do some other changes because i'll convert everything to upper case okay let me convert now series dot str dot upper method we have converted the text to upper case save all now all these elements will get converted to upper case right click run demo to here it is the series with mixed cases and now we have converted it to upper case guys we saw how to convert the entire text data to upper case using the upper method let us move to the next example in this example we will use the title method this title method will allow you to convert the entire text data to camel case what is a camel case now a camel case allow a text to have the first letter in capital so let us use the title method here we have our demo 3 title method import uh, the library import pandas as pd okay now let us take the data for our series and print it copy 
paste okay now we have our data we added the data to the to the series and that's it we printed the series now we will convert it to title let me do some changes okay let me keep it as it is and uh, rest uh, let's say i'll change now we have mixed cases here so that we can understand the concept now let us convert just mention series dot str dot title and we can also print a message camel case data file save all right click run we ran it and uh, this was our series data mixed case and now we are having the title case that is jacob the first letter is caps in amit also the first letter is caps works for other elements so in this way guys we can convert a text to camel case we saw how we can use the title method to convert our text data that is our series to camel case in the next example we can get the length of each element in the series using the len method let's see the example we will use the len method import the library import pandas and create an alias now let me take the data paste let me do some changes so i have done the changes we have our data here we added this data to our series and uh, using the series method we have created our panda series now we just need to get the length of each element mention the text let's say length save all right click and run here is a series and the length of each element the following length is 10 the following my name amit divan its length is 10 in this way for each element we found the length guys we saw how we can get the length of each element in the panda series using the alien method the next example includes the count method in which we will count the non empty cells for each column or row in a series using the count method let's say we have five elements in a series and uh, two of them are nan values null values then the output will be 3 that is the cell is having three elements obviously because those are non empty cells let's see the example here we have our count method put pandas as pd pd is our alias get the data 
Now let's say I'll take the following data. I'll paste it here. And for the following, I'll mention numpy.nan and it automatically added the numpy library also. If you remember before installing pandas, we needed to install numpy. So I just added nan using numpy and it automatically added the library. Let's say I'll also remove this and uh, let's say this and I'll mention numpy. So the output should be three, three non-null values. Okay. Okay, series dot count. Now I'll go to file, save all, right click run demo 5. And now you can see that we were having three non null values. Therefore, the count is three. In this way, guys, you can also find the count of elements in a panda series. We counted the non null values using the count method. Our last example includes searching for a value in a column. We will achieve this using the contains method. Let us see the example. The contains method import pandas. Add the data. Right click copy. Right click and paste. So we have a data here. Sample data. We created a series using the series method and added this data. Now search. Search for a specific value. Series dot str dot contains. Okay, let's say I'll find Amit where it is located. So the the correct answer will be displayed by true. Does the specific value exist in our series? Amit, yes. Right click run. Here it is. Amit is visible here. Okay, and the same is visible true. In this way guys, we can work around the contains method to find a specific value. We worked on the contains method to search for a value. In this example, we saw how we can work around the string operations on text data. We saw these six examples. We worked on a series.